Okay, so this one's very similar to the last problem. Uh, it says uh, give the full or complete electron configuration and um, condensed electron configuration of each of these atoms. So um, again, you just look at the periodic table. Um, so you know aluminum's got 13 electrons in it. So uh, periodic table, the full electron configuration, 1s2, 2s2, 2p6. Remember you're just counting, so s block first, um, and then s block again, uh, then the p block, uh, and whoops, 3s2, okay, and you're almost there, right? So then aluminum, its last electron is in that first p orbital, 3p1. Okay, so um, if you wanted to uh, do the condensed electron configuration, you just cut off at the valence electron, so noble gas before that, remember, is uh, neon. So, um, neon, 3s2, 3p1. Okay, so this is the full, this is the Magnesium, well, um, that's just the one next to aluminum, so uh, you just would do the same thing without that last electron. Like that. And then the condensed is going to be neon. Nicer. Neon. There he is. And then silicon, well, it's the next one above the, uh, aluminum. So um, you would just add one, because remember the 3p orbitals, it's actually three orbitals, right? So they can each hold two electrons. Um, so 1s2, 2s2, 2p6, 3s2, 3p. Okay. And then the condensed. You know, 3s2, 3p2. Okay. So, um, I don't know if there's anything else. Uh, I guess, again, if you didn't know to count them, you could remember, just look at the atomic number and that'll tell you how many are supposed to put, but whatever. Okay. Um, we could do a couple more of these um, when we talk about, after we talk about the transition metals and things below that.